with the students, it's my favorite, just having the opportunity to help them if they come to me with questions. Um, a lot of them, they'll be like nervous about things or certain classes, whatever, but because I'm in VASA, I'm able to just make them feel more comfortable and happy and that it's going to be okay, they'll figure it out, that type of thing. In the 1960s, a group of SBA students, likely inspired by the revolutionary spirit of the times, started a student government to give voice to the student population. Called VASA for short, the Visual Arts Student Association has been around ever since. In addition to meeting with administration to represent the concerns of the student body, VASA runs events like the annual Halloween party and finals fair, as well as overseeing student clubs. We invited the present VASA administration President Kenneth Farvell, Vice President Amy Fields, Treasurer Eugene Lee, and Student Senate Chair Wika Chen for a cup of joe and a chat. Hi ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another installment of Joe's and Mo's. Today we have our grassroots government, VASA. So why do you want to do this? Do you have too much time on your hand during our school or you just like got nothing else to do but just want to run a little student government? Yeah, you know, we're just all kind of sitting around, bored, figured this would be a fun thing to do. Uh, no, I mean, I think we all saw an opportunity to help the student body and engage with the student body and uh, hear the concerns and the interests of the students while providing fun experiences for them. And here and we are. And your teacher probably needs to give you a little bit more homework. <laughs> <laughs> so one of your biggest highlights, at least for me as a student, was the Halloween party and I heard some great things of what happened last year. Tell me a little bit more about that, please. Ken was well, the vice president last year. So, was so I was previously the vice president. The vice president's role in VASA is the event planner. Uh, so last year, 20, so fall 2016 and mm -hmm. 17, we went to Bullmore, uh, which is a bowling alley slash laser tag slash arcade awesome. slash bar restaurant down at the Chelsea Piers. And it was such a hit that Amy this year uh, decided that we would, we're going to go back because it was Great. so much fun. Yeah. That's amazing. It was awesome. And last year there were 666 people arrived? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. For, for real? Wicked, yeah. Uh, for real. All right. Yeah. <laughs> some some sadness yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. All right. It was so fun though. We also held a Six Flags trip Friday night, yeah. Yeah, we did a, a Six Flags trip back in October. Yep. Uh, 54 students, mm -hmm. I think, whatever we could fill a bus. Uh, took them down to Six Flags, great adventure, and spent a day down there. I think it was $25 for a ticket, and that yeah. covered the bus, and the bus and park admission. That's always a big hit. It sold out in how many hours? Wasn't it, it was like? sold out in like, during the weekend, like two days. We posted it on a Friday. Like... It was sold out on Sunday morning. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. So I guess there's a lot of people who hates gravity and love Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So is there any sneak peek of what's going to happen this year or are you guys still planning it? So we decided instead of doing a big event like the Halloween party this year we're going to do just a week full of smaller events so like kind of basing it off of what we usually do for orientation mm -hmm. so like one day we'll have tickets to like a Broadway show next day it'll be something else like Sleep no more, possibly, or Whoa, things fabulous. like that. Yeah. That would be amazing. Uh, all of these are tentative, by the way, because yeah. we're still exploring the costs and. Don't expect too much. <laughs> yeah, or, yeah. So, or a comedy show, something along the line, something fun and. Awesome. That's yeah. amazing. So, what is your individual favorite moment that in during Vasa so far? Uh, my favorite thing is it's not a specific moment, but I love that people come up to talk to me and who know who I am, and that's not from a like. I like that people know who I am. Do you feel like am. a real politician? No. Yeah. Like people come to you with... It, it just means that people know who we are and it means that we're having an impact and that students are aware that we're around. And that's something that I definitely saw the administration when I first came here struggling to do, uh, to get their name out there and to get people aware that VASA existed and was here. Um, and I get that all the time now. I get people who I don't recognize but that recognize me and just come up and say hi. And it's really exciting to see that we have that impact on students. Anyway, so thank you so much for joining thank us. You. And thank you so much for tuning in. Joe's and Mouse. Bye.